What's up you guys? It's Levi here. Welcome to the Cybersecurity Education Channel. So today I'm going to be talking about another wonderful video inspired by my wonderful girlfriend. My girlfriend got smished. So today we're going to be talking about what is smishing? You know, where you smash that like button to put an ang at the end of it. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but anyway, we're going to be going through um, the text message that my girlfriend got when she got smished. Um, we're gonna, and then I'll go through a bunch of other various examples of what smishing is and what can happen to you. Um, and then most importantly, at the end of this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to avoid getting smished and things to look for so you don't get smished. As always, if you have any questions or comments, leave a comment down below and I'd be glad to answer them. And make sure if you like this video to smash that like button and hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell to promote my content up in the YouTube algorithm to help more people like you prevent this crappy cybersecurity stuff from happening to them. So what is smishing? Basically at its simplest form, smishing is when somebody sends you a text message that's convincing and makes you want to react to it that could do bad things to you. That's what smishing is in its simplest form. All right, so an example of smishing is a text message that my girlfriend got here. As you can see here, congrats David, your code is blah 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 blah, printed on your last receipt among seven that we randomly picked for $1,000. A Walmart gift card promotion, click that link below and you're gonna get your $1,000 out of the seven people that applied for it. Oh wait, did she apply for this? Well, actually, my girlfriend actually didn't fall for this. Luckily, she has a smart cybersecurity boyfriend like me, and she sent this on to me and was like, Hey, Levi, is this message legit? And I was like, no, it looks like a total scam. So luckily she didn't fall for it. She's smart, but luckily she had somebody like me to verify it for her. So that's smishing in its purest form, and that's a real world example that impacted me and my girlfriend. So in this example, what can we learn from this example so that you guys don't fall for this yourselves? Uh, well, my girlfriend immediately noticed that this was a scam because it wasn't listed as going to her. Her name obviously is not David, right? That was a big red flag, and that's something that you guys should look for as well. <laughs> if the name that the text is going to is not named towards you, it's probably a scam. All right, so the next thing, my girlfriend never signed up for a Walmart gift card promotion, you know? So at Walmart, there's, there's these um, surveys on the receipts that you can fill out, and Okay, occasionally they'll, they'll give you a prize for filling those out. Well, she never did that, so she had no reason to ever get a text message like this. So that's another point to learn from this is if you haven't signed up for a contest and you get a text message like this, then it's probably a scam. It's pr that should be a red flag. Hey, I never signed up for a contest like this. It's fake. It's fake news. Um, and then the last thing on this specific text message is the mess the link down at the bottom is some weird link a7npr.info wtf is that <laughs> and then some random string at the end of it that's a dead giveaway that this is a scam too um you would think in this situation uh, you'd be getting a link to go to walmart.com or some type of survey site or something like that not some weird link um, unfortunately i wanted to show you guys what would happen um, on my test phone if I clicked on the link, uh, but it the link was already taken down at that point, so me speculating what would have happened, when that link was clicked, you would go out and it would probably want you to fill out a bunch of personal information about yourself, and then basically the attacker that sent out this text message could use that information against you to try to commit identity theft against you. Uh, one other thing that they could do is make you install an application on your phone before they claim that you'll be able to get your $1,000. You install that application, 
boom, your phone's hit with malware. They can do whatever the F they want to your phone. They can control your camera. They can take pictures of you. They can record a video of you. They can record sound of you. They can watch your screen. They can steal the data off your phone. Terrible things that could lead to problems for you, identity theft, fraud, things like that. So <laughs> those are some of the things that you can learn from, from that text message and some of the things that could happen to you if you had fallen for that text message. All right, so what are some other scams that you could be impacted by um, in this smishing? Um, there's a bank scam out there. So basically a financial institution will send you a text saying that your account information needs to be updated and they want something like your account number and other personal information. Um, if you respond to that text or click a link and give that information, that information can be used against you to commit identity theft and fraud. There's a toll call scam, so you'll get um, a convincing message that tells you to dial a phone number. Um, you go ahead and you dial that phone number um, and the person puts you on hold and while you're on hold, you're getting charged a rate. Um, sometimes that can be up to $19 a minute. So make sure you're not dialing random phone numbers that you're, that, that you're not sure about. That can get pretty expensive pretty fast. If you're gonna spend that type of money, make sure to send it to me. I'll post my email address down in the description so that you guys can do that if you would like. Just kidding. Like I talked about before, there's a malware scam, basically where they try to get you to click a link and you install an app on your phone and then boom, you get malware on your phone and they can do whatever the F they want to you. And then finally, the other common scam that you might see is a service cancellation scam where you get a text that says that you signed up for a service and they want information about you or they need information to be able to cancel that service. Um, you as a person, you're freaking out because you're like, why did I sign up for this? So you'll text them back with the information that they want to try to get it canceled because you don't want to spend the money. And boom, they take that information, use it against you, and can commit identity theft and fraud and things like that. All right, so we've already talked about some things that you can learn and help protect yourself in these smishing scams. Well, what else can you do to help protect yourself? And what are some things that you can look for in these texts to help protect yourself from falling for these terrible things? All right, so the first thing that you should look for when you get a text message is are you expecting a baby? I mean, a text, right? <laughs> are you expecting that text in the first place? If you're not expecting that text, it's probably a fraud, right? It's probably a scam. Number two thing that you should look for is it too good to be true? You're one of seven people from Walmart to win a thousand dollars. Doesn't that seem very highly unlikely that you would be one of seven people to win that thousand dollars, especially if you didn't sign up for it? Too good to be true, right? Probably a scam. Um, the number three thing, urgency. Is the text message trying to make you do something quickly uh, to try to get your mind in a mode where you're not thinking clearly? Uh, for instance, if a text message says you have 10 minutes to sign up for this contest to win a million dollars or something like that, <laughs> Um, that should be an obvious scam and that goes back to the point it's too good to be true but you might be thinking in your mind oh I gotta get this contest done so that I can potentially win that million dollars because I don't want to miss out don't fall for that if something is trying to make you do something in a hurry that should be an automatic red flag that hey this is probably a scam <sighs> number four does the link at the bottom of the text message if you have one even look legit or is it going to some weird site that you never heard of if it's going to a weird site that you never heard of, it's probably a scam. Number five, avoid responding to suspicious messages. Um, if you get a message that tells you to reply stop, to stop sending those messages or give any information out, just delete it, don't respond to it. If you respond to one of those messages, even if you just respond stop, um, that gives the sender an idea that, hey, this, e this phone number is legit, somebody's using it, and then later on they can go and send you more spishing messages that are more sophisticated to try to get you guys. Number six, typos. Um, if you see any typos or grammar errors, um, then it's probably a, f a scam, um, especially when you combine that with any of these other things or the things I'm gonna be talking about. 
that should be a, a giveaway. That, that should be one sign that you're looking at a potential scam. Um, the number seven thing, um, be careful who you're sharing your phone number with. Don't just give it out willy-nilly. Only give it out to people you trust. Don't list it out on the internet publicly. Um, and the reason is, the more, the more people that have your phone number, the more likely you are to get hit with one of these smishing scams. So um, you gotta be careful here handing your phone number out too. Number eight, legit organizations aren't gonna be asking for your information over text. Um, they're just not gonna do that. So like the IRS, like the Social Security Administration, um, if they're asking you for things like your Social Security number, your name, your address, things like that, uh, it's probably a scam. Number nine, if you're unsure, make sure that you check with the organization that the text message that you got is legit in another method besides texting or the phone number that they're giving. Um, actually go out to that organization's website and look up their phone number on their website or look up their email address or something like that and give them a call that way. Don't, you, don't rely on the information that you're getting in the text. Uh, for instance, that Walmart um, text message that my girlfriend got, if she was really unsure, she went to Walmart's website, dialed their phone number, asked if she was actually a winner, and found out that way, and not through the text message or the medium that was sent to her. Um, it's the same rules apply to phishing like we talked about in previous videos before as well. And finally, number 10, think. Make sure that you're using that little thing in your head to think when you're looking at text messages and take your time while you're reading text messages. Take a little bit of extra time before you take any action on a text message. Um, just by taking that extra time and going through the rest of this list in your head when you're looking at a text message uh, will give you a, the chance of not falling for these smishing text messages. So. <laughs> That's what I got for you guys today. If you guys have any comments or questions, make sure to leave them down below and I'd be glad to answer them. Thank you for watching guys and have a great day.